Hey everyone, I'd like to show you my uh, Scow Moth project. I'm using the plans uh, downloaded from herewegoagain.org to build Bunyip. And uh, you can see the uh, plans right here. It's a free PDF. Just go to herewegoagain.org with a spelled with an E A R and um, do a Google do a search for on the website for uh, plans for moth scow and you can uh, uh, scow moth excuse me and uh, download it um, I'm also trying out my new GoPro camera that my wife bought me it's a it's a hero 4 and she bought it brand new it's been in the box on the shelf ever since because um, I really uh, have a tough time warming up to technology so I've been staring at it for a few years I finally broke it out and now I'm playing with it with my iPhone and and they're up to a hero 9 so um, you can do the research and figure out how long the thing has sat on the shelf. Anyway, here's the boat. Um, so far I've got the uh, hull planked and the, um, the bow cover on. Um, the whole boat is built with this um, 1.5 millimeter uh, Okume. It's um, really uh, pretty thin stuff. Um, here's a, another example. It's like credit card thin and uh, it's really flimsy and uh, pretty difficult to work with compared to other marine grade plywood. But the strength of the boat comes from these um, frames that are uh, lofted on a piece of uh, three millimeter plywood and then these lightning holes, limber holes, are all cut out, and um, and then this 10 by 10 millimeter uh, western red cedar is glued on for strength, and uh, makes the uh, frames really stiff. And then after that, you uh, lay in the stringers, which are slightly larger dimensional western red cedar. And the plans call for the uh, planking on the bottom and the bilge and the sides to be taped with uh, fiberglass tape. I decided instead to substitute um, fillets, which are just as strong and um, hopefully a little bit lighter and a little more cost effective because the filleting material is uh, pretty light. It might use a little more epoxy in the end, but um, but that's the way I chose to build it. It's going to have a, a dagger board as opposed to a center board. Um, I glued in all these blocks. This will be for mounting hardware after the uh, deck is put on. So these uh, three pairs of blocks from the stern up to the uh, bulkhead are for um, uh, hiking straps. And then this one big block here in the middle is where I'll locate uh, approximately the um, block for the um, main sheet. And then these blocks on either side here will be used for a, a turning block for the um, traveler. Um, in this area here will be the trapeze. It's um, made of uh, curved aluminum tubing and it comes out to oh about here and um, has a trapeze, or sorry, a trampoline on either end for, uh, for hiking out. This uh, foredeck is 1.5 uh, millimeter Okume, and it was really scary uh, flexible. Uh, my concern was if anybody accidentally stepped on it, they'd go right through, and that's probably still the case. But what I ended up doing was I uh, had some fiberglass cloth laying around, and I just uh, attached that over the top, and that stiffened it up quite a bit. I'm pretty sure you can still probably go through it if you step on it, but at least now um, if somebody tosses a tool or something and it lands on the foredeck, it's not going to damage it too bad, I hope. Um, I still have some more uh, hardwood to uh, mount inside the, um, inside the boat before I deck it. Um, I'm going to put two big um, ash hardwood blocks in here, and that'll be mounting hardware for the bottom gudgeon for the rudder and then the top gudgeon attaches to a, um, a laminated uh, recurved uh, piece of wood 
go about this high up off the deck. The deck's going to be three millimeter Okume and it'll have a layer of glass on it for strength also. So thanks for watching my video. Um, I've been forced down into the basement due to this uh, Wisconsin November is uh, outside the envelope for epoxying and um, um, I'll be working on the rudder and the center board and I'll be building a wooden mast for this boat as well as opposed to going with aluminum or carbon fiber. Maybe the next, the next boat will get something a little more exotic but for right now I'll be building a wooden mast for this boat. Uh, I've done it before. It's uh, not really a big deal. Uh, you can see here's a wooden mast I built for my Australian sailboard and um, uh, I've got uh, instructions for doing that. It'll have diamond stays just like this this mast here as well. Thank you and uh, hopefully I'll post another video here shortly of um, the um, making of the center boards and the mast and whatnot.